So, you want to add the Tiling Window Manager to Kili. You're in the right place. And for that, we are going to use the Bismuth package available on GitHub. If you want to find him, you just have to go to the GitHub website and search in the search bar for the Bismuth package. Like so. And the repository is available under Bismut Forge. But you're going to tell me that this feature is already available in Plasma 5. And you're right. With the version 5 of Plasma, we can use Super T, like so, to show and use a tiling utility. But I don't like this solution at all because it cannot automatically tile my windows and I cannot switch between different layouts. And this two feature is very mandatory for me. In the old day, I have used Cronkite, but the package is not maintained anymore, so I use Bismuth that is a kind of fork of Cronkite. In the repository, you have the README that describes all the steps you have to do if you want to install the package. Because I use Endeavor OS, I just have to use the OR package available here, and I just have to install it via the following command EA-S Kawin Bismuth. Yes. No. The installation process takes some time, so I just grab a coffee and I'll see you right after. Ok, we are done. We can close the terminal. After the installation process, we just have to go to the system settings and uh, seek for the window management tab, just right here, and the window tiling sub tab. And we just have to enable the window styling, just with this box, and hit apply. And as we can see, the window styling is launched. If I hit super pipe, I can change the layout, for example, with a spiral layout. In this page, you can modify all the options you want. You can separate layout for each activity or virtual desktop, uh, just here. You can add restriction with uh, workspace rule or windows rules. And you can choose the layout you want in the customer's layout button, just here. For me, I have just selected monoc layout, three column layout, and spiral layout. I use mostly the spiral layout. The monoc layout is if I want to show one window in full screen, and the three column layout is mostly never used. In the Windows Rules button, you can add option for specific program to be in your or float. For example, this is an old config of me. I have added Android Studio Setup Wizard in the in your windows because if this windows is uh, automatically set uh, by the tiling program, it have a weird shape and the text in it is not readable. But for example, you can uh, add a different class of windows if you want to in your uh, each of this program right here. After uh, adding a program, you just have to hit apply and this, and this is done. In the appearance tab, you can add some uh, value for each of these settings and it adds a gutter around the window. For example, I have put 10 pixels everywhere and I have here my gutter. I have set up 10 because this is approximately the same distance between my border of the screen and my top bar. Like so, the gutter have the same width that the Kili top bar when it's in floating mode. If you want to have a border color around the active window, you just have to go to the Appearance tab, just here, and seek for the Window Decoration sub tab, and you have the Bismuth team. Unfortunately, this uh, team have a downside, in my opinion, 
You cannot have the bismuth team with the title bar button. So if I select the bismuth team and I play it, this have to effect to delete my title bar. But for certain use case, I want to have this. So for me, I'm gonna to stick with Breeze. The final step is to check if the shortcut is okay for you. So you just have to go to the shortcut tab just here and to the window styling sub tab just here. So this is the default shortcut. But personally, I don't have edited them because uh, I'm okay with it. But if you want to edit them, you just have to go uh, under arrow air and uh, add your custom shortcut. The only downside I found to Bismuth is that the package is not under active development because the original developer have not the time for that. So if you want to help, uh, you just have to go to the GitHub and uh, check the issues or uh, made the pull request with the feature you want to add to Bismuth. The fact that the package is not under active development uh, have the effect to include in the script some weird user experience. Like, for example, when the script is loaded for the first time after a boot, for example, no gutter is applied, so I have to hit my shortcut for switching between layouts to actually have them apply. And we don't have the possibility to set up the, the default layout present in this list just here. So it always starts with the first layout you have checked on this list. For example, for me, it's the monocle layout. Another tips I want to share with you is how to handle some uh, strange behavior when the window have a fixed width. For example, the system setting window. For that, I have to show you with a bunch of terminal. For example, the behavior of the system settings windows. If I open here the system settings, you can view that the window overlap uh, the other. For avoiding that, we just have to go to this menu and add the windows rule, like so. And we have to focus all the window class that are for class unimportant and the windows type normal window. After that, we just have to add the property and we search for the minimum size property, just here. And we set it up to zero and zero for force. After that, you just have to hit apply. As you can see, the window only takes up the available space, but it's up to you to make sure that the window is well positioned so that it can be read when needed. If necessary, you can move it to the main area, for example. And that's it, you have a tiling window manager that work. Uh, again, if you want to support Bismuth, you can do it via the GitHub repository. And for me, it's time to say goodbye, so see you later.